Hello everybody, welcome to Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. Today we're playing Call of Cthulhu. Now this game is, uh, as I understand it, I've never played it, but it's based loosely on the mechanics of the tabletop role-playing game, which I'm really excited to try out in video game form. Uh, I do want to say before we jump into this, I want to acknowledge that I am fully aware of the problems surrounding H.P. Lovecraft the band uh, and his certain world viewpoints. Uh, Kelvin's Coin in no way endorses any of those viewpoints, and we're um, going to set aside his obvious biases and uh, prejudices, which, as I understand it, do not present themselves in any form in this game. This game is not made by H.P. Lovecraft, made by Chaosium, who made the tabletop role-playing game, and none of that is involved in their tabletop role-playing games. So I want to acknowledge it, but we're going to set it aside. And let's, you know, that said, let's jump into the game and uh, enter the madness. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. Yikes. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Takes place in Boston, my hometown. Enter madness. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who, in his callousness, can remain sane to the hideous end. Words from the man himself. This might be too dark. Crawling in a cave. Hot start, I see. Game saves. Great. Awesome. Love it. All right. Oh, there's a lantern. Great. This is too dark. This might be too bright, but we're going to give this a whirl. Oh my word. This game looks kind of cool. The the moving the camera around is kind of making me sick. Might have to reduce the uh, camera sensitivity. Okay, that's a little better. Anything to interact with. So it's still a little too dark. Counter darkness. Must light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay. Can I grab this lantern? I can. Heck yeah. And then... Where was I? I don't like that very much. Used to be able oh, what did I just pick up? Oh, bolt cutter. Amazing. Here we go. Osric, welcome back to the chat. Good to see you. I have a candle you can borrow. <laughs> Okay, who said that? Didn't give me the option using the bolt cutters there. Okay, this is just heat coming off those candles. That's groovy. La la la. In a scary cave. Nothing to worry about. There's no jump. Put my light out for a second. Sure, whatever, dude. You're talking about me, I am assuming. I don't know. I don't think I'm playing Edward Pierce right now. I think I'm just playing. You have been chosen. Okay. Am I running? That's running. 
That's running to you? Does that look like running to you? It looked like running to me. Oh, I'm going to be all right. Whoa. <laughs> I grow shiitake mushrooms. Nice. You hate whiskey? Yeah. Well, you and I don't agree on that. Uh, consult diary. Okay, so now, now we're Edward Pierce. This is our office. The year is 1924. All right, we're looking at a journal here. Pierce Investigation Agency. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I can hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? It's Cthulhu. <laughs> okay, we have objectives here, I think. Nope, we don't have any objectives yet. Pierce, Darkwater, Clues, Inventory. Do we... Do we... Here's our uh, RPG style. Oh, look at us, man. We are handsome. Um... Here are stats. Eloquence, 20%. Spot hidden is going to be a really important uh, trait for us. Investigation, also. Ooh, psychology, occultism, medicine. Uh, so in the tabletop role-playing game, there are a bunch of skills. There's a really long list of skills. And you get to, based on your profession um, and your primary stats, which you roll for, get a certain number of points to dedicate to increasing uh, that percentile number. And what you're doing when you roll dice, you roll a D10 and a D100. Um, it's a D100 system in the game. You have to roll under that percentile to get a success, um, a regular success. I don't know if this game works in the same way, but really the tabletop system, says Grand, super elegant for what it does. I agree, it's a great system. I don't know if this, if this video game works the same way, but roll on if you roll over the percentage you fail if you roll under the percentage just under the percentage it's a regular success if you roll um under half the percentage like if we're doing a strength check and we roll like a 19 that's a hard success and if we roll under one fifth of this it's a critical success and all this all the rolls are opposed so if we're making a strength if we're like wrestling with somebody and we want to take them down they roll for their strength, we roll for ours. If they roll a regular success, but we roll a hard success or a critical success, we win. That's kind of, that's basically how the system works. So the higher these percentiles are, um, the better, the more likely we are to succeed a roll. And occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Proving the skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. There's another skill that I don't see here called uh, Cthulhu Mythos that you cannot add skill points to as you level up. You can only get Cthulhu Mythos points by being exposed to the Cthulhu Mythos. And then they're assigned to you. You don't roll for them. Reading books, seeing a great old one, like all those things. Anyway, sanity. Sanity is a huge uh, mechanic in this game as well. Mental trauma. Nightmares. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War where he took part in the Meuse-Argonne Offensive. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire. Forced to hold their position for several days surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies, soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. We're stable right now. Confident your abilities in your uh, Cartesian mind, conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts and your convictions and your perception of reality. Your conclusions are logical and reliable. Cthulhu Mythos is almost an over-constrained title. I sort of prefer to label it truth. <laughs> I mean, I laugh at that, but 
That's actually that's actually a good, I you know that's a statement that I agree with. If you lose all your sanity, your character's essentially dead. They're just lost to the mythos. They're incapacitated, insane. So it's just as fragile and important as your health total, your hit points, or whatever. Ah. So we're logging everything as we go here. This is going to be really interesting. Can I move this around uh, Resident Evil style? I can. Lost Battalion. Look at the detail on that lighter, man. It looks real. <laughs> it looks real. All right. I'm not touching that stuff. Nope. What's this? It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Ah, okay, my journal. Great. I already accessed this. I somehow opened it from over there. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. The person who works here. Really likes books. <laughs> it's like his saying things about his own office. <laughs> good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Oh yeah, case solved. This is a solved case. Great, awesome. A bar. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Good. So we've we've had some success as an investigator in the past. Um, I, this is still a little too dark. I think. Going to investigate. Wentworth agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. The Wentworth agency? So we don't own this agency? Merp, merp. So we hawking at us? business here to attend to. All right, great. <laughs> it's fun to see you in my dreams on the radio. Hell yeah. See you in my dreams. I used to be an avid reader. But now I'm a rabid... Beater, I don't know. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. And what is? What is courage, in your opinion? Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Oh, well. I think I'm going to try and up the brightness just a little bit more. I hope that's better. Oh yeah, close that. What are you doing? What's this? A married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Another case closed. Good. Close that. Shh, snakes. Okay, what else? What am I, what am I supposed to be investigating here to make the story move? Why? Game saved. What's going to happen now? Oh, phone ringing. Pick it up. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Uh, oh, we leveled up. We have two character points. I mean, spot hidden investigation is going to be really important. So, six CP needed. I have eight available. All right, so we're going to do two. Oh, I see. Great. Okay, so we leveled up spot hidden in investigation. I like that. I like that. Validate. Yes. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will still be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? No. Nope. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. 
Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... <laughs> I'm coming. Do we know this guy? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Thanks. Steven. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Steven Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. It's going from a cinematic to... First person is weird choice. Come to mind. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me. Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. I mean, negotiate a fee first. <laughs> the Come on, man. I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay. We're going to look at that file. Probably first. Someone approaching a dark figure? Great. Well, let's look at the file. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Where am I looking first here? Um, a shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. Well, we're going to go there at some point. Police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. Police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? Um, oh, I can rotate this. Can I zoom in on it? No, I guess not. Yo do 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 Okay. Hey, do marriage on dark water. Can't read that. All is a wall of the Clint. I'm not supposed to be able to read that. Press cutting an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of dark water. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Okay. That's all we have here. Oh, we have an address. One of the like staple techniques as a player in the tabletop game and the tabletop game is the one i've played i'm going to be referencing it a lot at the beginning at least um is that you do as much research as you can about a place or a person before you go and see them or investigate it so i wonder if we're going to be able to uh, learn more about warehouse 36 before we even go to there or learn about dark water um, or more about the hawkins family all right that's what i would like to do Okay, so we filed our, that file. We're going to look at the painting investigation. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Oh, we got, okay, we got a choice here. You shouldn't take this painting lightly. Find about Warehouse 36. Where does Sarah Hawkins live? What do you make of these elements? Where does she live? Dark water. Never heard of the place. Where is that? 
It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. All right, let's learn about Warehouse 36. Mentions. Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Hmm. Uh, something's not... Something's not right with... Oh, this is an unlocked answer. Shouldn't take this painting lately. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Well, not right with the story. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. Those three sentences aren't related. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay, we got nothing from clicking on this. No new clues, no leads. It was just a bunch of jargon. I haven't asked about the mental fragility. I'm afraid of, like, offending him. But let's see if that's a thing in this game. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. Did she? She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Can we go back to the visions saw thing? Things. What do you mean by that? Good one, Edward. I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. All right, that's all the information I need, I guess. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let some things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Look at this dude's only vest. Clue is a sort of Want it. promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. All right. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. I mean, are we getting paid? Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Okay. Well, we need to accept new cases, so let's do Dark it. Water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. Good. All right, so they I'm will... find some information on this island in there. They will give us... Uh, leave for Dark Water to find out about Dark Water. Yeah, they, they will give us a chance to research, research things before we go there. That's excellent. So the opening scene was not um, Edward Pierce. We were someone else. I don't know who we were. Um, I don't know what that was about. The dreams that we have are about the war and about the Lost Battalion. Not going to take any sleeping pills. The book on the North Atlantic would be over here. Natural sciences. Nope, those are the places that don't go. Oh, here we go. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. So it is true that the area in and around Boston was heavily involved in the whaling industry. I don't think dark water is a real place. There are islands off the coast of Massachusetts, for sure. But I don't believe dark water. I think dark water is made up for the game. So... But if it's real and you live in Darkwater, I guess, sorry. <laughs> Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century. What? By whom? Europeans didn't arrive in Massachusetts until the 17th century. I mean, I'm from Massachusetts. I grew up in Massachusetts. I was born there, so I kind of know it. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century by something, and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. So I guess they're saying natives. 
Native American tribes. Don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. What? That sentence is loaded. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long-abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of a small land off the coast of Massachusetts. So this was um, similar to if you watched our Dagon playthrough, link somewhere, description or otherwise, uh, you'll know that the obelisk we found had carvings of people who were just as big as whales, like manhandling them. Well, that's in line with Lovecraftian sort of stuff. Grandfather Legion says, since Europeans are the only people that exist, the sentence is therefore impossible. <laughs> I mean, how do we know that it was inhabited since the 14th century? I mean, it's not like Native American tribes kept a lot of records, at least in Massachusetts. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Sure, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's go. Hey. It's because we had no problem finding a boat to take us to dark water. Focus Home Interactive presents... Don't drink it! Oh, he's smoking. Never mind. <laughs> Cyanide Studio. Cyanide Studio's got a cool logo. Thanks, James Fitzroy. Love how they give you the full names. Makers of Blood Bowl. That's true. My big dumb head is in the way of a lot of this stuff. I might make myself smaller. Call. Ooh. Ooh. Can't stand when subtitles tell you the name of someone before they actually get introduced. Yeah. Oh, the Scylla. That's a reference. The name of the ship was a reference to something. Can't remember what, though. Odyssey? That box doesn't look heavy. <laughs> There's guys coming to unload. Okay. Guys, you say. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Thanks, James. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Um, okay. Does the Hawkins speaking. case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. Okay, you now we're what? playing. Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Oh, okay, all right. Easy it's on the boss the accent. The family that brings you here. I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay. I'm from Boston. I can do this. Like every other person from Boston who ever watches a movie that takes place in Boston or whatever, we judge the accents and the authenticity of those accents. That voice actor did a really good job with the Boston accent, particularly on words like landlubber. 
the way he said it, but really lost it on Bah and Haba Master. <laughs> Take it easy. Really want to do it, Haber Master. Haber Master. That's that's more of a Boston accent, a believable one. Landlubber. See, the R is still there. It's just. It depends on what part of Massachusetts he's from. If he's from Boston itself, it'll actually be less pronounced. More, much more subtle. If he's from the North Shore, probably be a little bit more of the uh, stereotypical Boston accent. All right, so there's the bar, the bat. Um, I'm gonna snoop around first. I don't want to go to the Harbor Master's office yet. That feels like Harbor Master and the bar seem like uh, points that are gonna move the story forward a little too far. Okay, nothing over there. I'm gonna talk to people. That person looks in a bad way. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see this. I was looking at this guy having a hard time. Can I talk to him? I don't think I can. You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Did I pass that Only check? Only a specialist would know what killed him. You can't understand. You're not. Okay, I don't. I don't think we did. Only a specialist would know. Everyone's turning and looking at me. Get, get out of the way. Beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. <laughs> They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. It's an omen, yeah. huh? The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Okay. Um. You totally out of your death. <laughs> I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. <laughs> So Grandpa Legion says the voice actor who did James Fitzroy is from Stockholm. Oh, they, they did an extra excellent job. And, you know, it's not always the actor's call how much of an accent uh, inflection they, they, they get to use. Sometimes that's directed. <laughs> but you can stay to watch if you want. There's nothing for you here either. Come on, you bastard. Okay, you know what? It looks like there's about to be a row. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> uh, should we go to the the whale first? Oh, what's this? Prohibition. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. It is 1924. Prohibition is. Like, <laughs> look at the harpoons in the prohibition sign. That's really funny. But do we talk to the harbor master first? I'm. N I don't want to drink. Let's see if we can talk to people instead. Just kiss already. What? Hey, be careful. Why did we do that? Is that Strider? Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I'm not a troublemaker. Well, uh, I didn't show respect. You're overdoing it. No, I'm sorry. We're going to apologize. Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun, and I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. I'm try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. 
I reserve the right to answer or not. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna find out about Darkwater. Um... To go straight in. Now I'm going to ask why the stranded whale. The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Hmm. I know about Sarah Hawkins. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. It's not speaking ill if it's true. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? It's true that they were strange. Her style Go on. made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Where do I see them? I've got what I need. Anything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warehouse. Looking for Warehouse 36. You know where this place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? Why not? First off, there are rumors. Why rumors? Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. What do you mean? Screams, that sort of thing. Oh. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? No prohibition right here? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first Yeah, Yeah, no kidding. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Well, if betray that, it's a she, Leaf. That'll be all for now. All right, let's, uh... Where did, where did Aragorn go? There you are. Hello. What you looking at, stranger? You? Certainly put them away. No. It's a woman like you do in a place like this. What a douchey thing to say. But, I mean, this is also a douchey thing to say. And this seems like a non, like, it's not going to go anywhere, so. Yikes! We're, we're doing it. The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. <laughs> Let me drink, stranger. Right on. Right on. Well, that went well. I told you to beat it. <laughs> I like her. She's my favorite. She's my favorite. Let's see if we can talk to some sailors. What's this? The miraculous here? catch. Apparently... The most significant event of the last 80 years. Really? The Scylla returns to port to save Darkwater from famine. This is May 1847. We'd given up hope the crew of the Scylla, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater port late on Tuesday afternoon. Locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch Ray Vessel had on board. They caught some sort of giant monster. Okay. New clue memorized. Article on the miraculous catch. And the doctor. What did he say? He laughed. My God. You said. Asylum workers. Can I sit with you, fellas? Do it again, you know. Oh, 
The girl doctor. Colden. She won't stop asking. Colden? Not that again. She will get us into trouble. Uh, I know, I know. Someone outside. Colden, huh? I, I, they wouldn't let me talk to them. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. They've been dead for three months. This this board is still here? He's not paying that debt. Ms. Boker always free for the lady? I don't know what that means. Let's leave. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Talk to the harbor master. That must that building straight ahead is probably the warehouse. My god, he walks slowly. <laughs> okay, I thought I was gonna knock or something. Hey, what's going on, dude? I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. Why? When you're done, come join me on the deck. Sure, bud. All right, not there. The table next to me. It was not talking about that. This table. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Okay. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? I don't know. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Yeah, it sure did. The Learning of Medicine, Volume 2. Open it. Is there an emblem inside? Resident Evil style? Second volume teaches ethics and good practice to the medical staff. What's up these stairs? Ooh. That is creating a lot of smoke. <laughs> it's like coming out of everywhere. What is burning there? You know what? I wonder if... Um, blubber was used as a, as, a, as a lantern fuel. I wonder if it smokes like that. When lit. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. In this photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. Fitzroy does not have a wooden leg, I don't think. Is there a name on it? No, there isn't. Okay, let's put it back, maybe. Close that up. Doesn't look like there's anything of note there. Come on. What a macabre souvenir. It's the wooden leg. Oh my god. Oh my word. Oh, look at all the flags. That's nice. I didn't see that before. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. Cat is probably the bootlegger. And Fitzroy is probably uh, moving the liquor for her. And the mysterious woman in the bar could very well be Cat. We we're supposed to meet Fitz on the deck. This looks safe. Does it mean the deck of his ship? I thought he meant the deck of the... Oh, there he is. Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Um... The documents are unreadable. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? 
You mean that the dates have some meaning? You tell me. I don't know. It's not my signature next to that of Charles Hawkins. I'm at sea for more than half the year. Anyone could have done it during my absence. What seems really important to me is that the dates on these manifests indicate that Charles probably had other contracts. But not with you, though. Hmm. All right, let's ask about Warehouse 36. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Got it right. Got it right. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? <laughs> it belonged to the Hawkins family. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Let's talk about Darkwater. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. I don't know what to ask. Um, the miraculous catch will hopefully maybe unlock some occult stuff for us. Cat. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. That's fair. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Okay. Well, what's the Miraculous Catch, then? The Miraculous Catch? Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Photograph looks strangely like you. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I have. Um, all right. Well, I saw the killer whale on the wharf. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. That's generally true. What would have killed killer them? Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're going to take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. <laughs> Why are they putting it back in the sea? The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Mm. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. You got it, boss. But well, James is pretty cool. We snooped around his stuff and he still gave us information when he really had no reason to do so. These people are coming this way. What's going on, fellas? I'm like, oh, they all turn their heads and look at me. <laughs> I'm curious, what's down this way? The game is still a little too dark for me to see. My streaming lights on. I'm kind of getting blinded. What's all this then? Find hidden items. Spot hidden skill allows you to detect items in a close range. Um. Is this a... Whoa! It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Is this an active ability I have to... Is there like a button I have to push? Actually, keep that out. Ha! Huh. A whale vertebra. 
If okay. the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Yeah, okay. What's this? A ratchet device. Our enables heavy loads to be lifted and held aloft without risk. Take it. This ratchet device seems to be usable. Mm-hmm. Hello. It's a lever, baby. A handle. It must come from these old winches. Oh, yeah, you bet. Okay, what's up here? I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Do it. Um, mount the handle. Mount the ratchet device. Eve? I think I'm missing another piece, maybe? I don't know. Oh! Cogwheel! We need this! It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. I'm just spamming the interact button. <laughs> I didn't see it. I think I, I guess I, sp I failed that spot hidden check. Well, that way we don't have a check mark there. Mount the cogwheel, baby. Turn the handle. Mm. I'll hold the test string. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Do it, dude. Do it, dude. Yes. Yes? Damn, I broke it. No. No. Edward! No! You son of a bitch! Well, that's a part of the game we're not going to be able to get to. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? I mean, I had no idea. Your turf? That's news to me. So true. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. You were my favorite, but now you're, you're boring me. You're Cat. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Whoa! Oh, she just need me in my... My go natty daddies. Get this joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking. Ah, uh, well, okay, this is probably bad. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Well, don't break the friggin' mechanism next time, dude. Jeez. Well, getting inside this warehouse is going to be tricky, it looks like. Thank you all for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. We're going to end this episode here. Hit that subscribe button for future episodes, because more are going to be coming for Call of Cthulhu. See you in the next one, but take care of yourself in the meantime. Peace out.